Lesson 5.4, Model and Record Two-Digit Subtraction. We can record, that means write, two-digit subtraction if there are not enough ones to subtract from. We record regrouping 110 as 10 ones by crossing out the tens and writing it as one less 10. Then we cross out the ones and write it as 10 more ones. So I'll show you. In this problem, we have 35 minus 17. To regroup, we think of the 35 as three tens, five ones, and we take one of the tens, so now there's two tens, and we give it to the ones as 10 ones. Now we have two tens, 15 ones. We had five ones in the minuend, we were trying to take seven ones away, and there weren't enough ones here. So we took a 10 from the tens, so now instead of three tens, we have two tens, and we gave it to the ones as 10 ones. Now instead of five ones, we have 15 ones. We regroup a 10 as 10 ones. Now we have enough ones to subtract seven. And 15 minus seven is eight. Two minus one is one we have 18 as our difference, as our answer. Knowing when we need to regroup and when we don't need to regroup is really important. Here we don't need to regroup. We have 38 minus 15. We look at the ones place. We have eight and we wanna take away five. We can do this. There are eight ones, we can take five away. Here we have 31 minus 15. And we cannot take five away unless we regroup a 10 as 10 ones. So the way to tell is by looking at the ones place in the menu end to see if it's great enough to take away the ones that are in the subtrahend. Here we have 31 minus 15. When we look at the ones place, we don't have enough ones to take five away. We have three tens, one one, three tens, one one. What we need to do is take one of these tens and turn it into ten ones. Now we have two tens, eleven ones. We cross off the three in the tens place. We make it a two because we're taking one of them away. We're going to give the one ten to the ones place as ten ones. Now we don't have one one anymore. We have 11 ones. The 10 ones that we got from here plus the one that was here makes 11 ones. Now we have 11 minus five. We can do that. That's six. We can take five of these away. One, two, three, four, five. We can see there are five six ones left. And because we traded a 10 for 10 ones, we have two tens. We still need to take this 10 away. We have two tens minus one 10. We take one 10 away and we're left with one 10, six ones. Two minus one is one 10. It's equal to 16. Here we have a problem, 34 minus 19. This is step one of what we're gonna do. We show 34 as three tens, four ones. We need to take nine ones away from this four ones. And there's not enough, so we regroup. We take one of these tens and we turn it into 10 ones. Now it's gone. Step three, we subtract ones. We only have two tens left and we have 14 ones. We take the nine ones away. That's gonna leave four, five ones. And we've got two tens here. We still need to take one 10 away. We took away the nine ones. Now we have to take away the 10. We take away a 10. We have one 10 left and five ones. It's 15. 
one ten, five ones is 15. So 34 minus 19 is equal to 15. Let's try it again. We have 53 minus 18. We start by showing 53 as five tens, three ones. We see we need to take eight ones away from the three ones, but there aren't enough. So we need to regroup. So what we're going to do is we're going to take away one of the tens. So the five tens is going to become four tens. The five tens is going to become four tens. And we give the ten to the ones place as ten ones. That means instead of three ones, we now have 13 ones. We put 10 ones here. Now we do have enough to take away eight ones. We circle eight ones and cross them out. We still need to take away a 10, so we can take away this one here. We see that we have one, two, three, four, five ones. 13 minus eight is five. Four minus one is three. We have three tens left, five ones, that's 35. And remember, in a subtraction problem, the first number is the minuend. We take away the subtrahend, and it will equal the difference. Remember, when we're trying to solve word problems and write number sentences, equations, to fit the problem to solve it, that we can use related facts. It says, eight birds were in a tree. So that's our minuend, eight. Some flew away. We don't know how many. Now there are six birds in the tree. We can write eight minus six is equal to some number. And that number will be the subtrahend from this equation. Eight minus six is equal to two. That means eight minus two is equal to six. Here it says there were some birds, we don't know how many, in a tree. Two birds flew away, now there are six birds in the tree. We can think of a related addition sentence. Two plus six is equal to eight. That means eight minus two is equal to six. So keep in mind, we can use related facts and it doesn't matter how great the numbers are. The numbers can be any amount, and we can use related facts. Tala's book has 92 pages. She has read some pages. Tala has 38 pages that she needs to read. So that means she still needs to read 38 pages of the 92. How many pages has she read? We find the difference between 92 and 38 by subtracting. There's 92 pages in her book. She read some, we don't know how many, and she has 38 pages left to read. We can write a subtraction problem as 92 minus 38. Whatever the difference is will be the amount of pages she read. We look at the ones place. We have two ones and we need to take away eight ones. We can't, there's not enough. So what we can do is we can take a 10 from the tens place. Nine tens becomes eight tens. It's one less. We give that 10 to the ones place as 10 ones. And 10 ones and two ones makes 12 ones. Now we have 12 ones, we can take eight away. 12 ones minus eight ones is four ones. Eight tens minus three tens is five tens. That means she must have read 54 pages already. If there's a missing subtrahend, 
we can just use the minuend and the difference to help us find it by rewriting the subtraction problem. There were some bees in a hive. 23 bees flew away. Then there were 18 bees in the hive. How many bees were in the hive before? So it says there were some bees. We don't know how many. Then 23 flew away. So that means we're subtracting 23. Then there were 18 bees in the hive. Well, we can add 23 plus 18 to find the missing minuen because it would be a related addition fact. We're going to do addition, 23 plus 18. We start with the ones place, 8 plus 3 is 8, 9, 10, 11. We regroup a 10 and put a 1 in the ones place for 11. Now we add the 10s, 2, 3, 4. That's 41 Bs. That means there must have been 41 bees when 23 flew away, and now there's 18 left. So we know the answer is 41 bees. Make sure that you cross off the models that you need to cross off. When we subtract the ones, cross off the ones after we subtract. When we subtract the 10, we have to cross off the 10 that we subtracted so that we make sure we count the right amount. In our next lesson, 5.5, we're going to do more two-digit subtraction with regrouping, and we're going to use this standard algorithm, like this, crossing off tens and regrouping them to the ones place. I hope you'll join me there. Have a wonderful day. Bye.